Hi friends, we're three weeks into communication month here at the Society, and we've got a great sense of how communication is key to building community, understanding, and trust. But as we also know, sometimes communication is hard. Sometimes you can't speak your mind. Sometimes you can't speak at all. And sometimes you can't even be close to the person you're trying to communicate with. For occasions like these, humans came up with symbols. Symbols communicate an idea in a picture or an icon so that when someone sees the picture and knows the code behind what the picture means, they'll know what you're trying to say without even speaking a word between you. The study of symbols and how they're used is called iconography, and it's around you pretty much everywhere you go. As individuals, we develop our own sort of mental dictionary of personal iconography, and we use it to tell our stories in a lot of ways. But one of my favorite ways to see it in action is to visit a local cemetery. The symbols chosen for a body's final resting place can tell you something really important about a person's life. In fact, most of the time these symbols are especially carefully considered because they're sort of a person's final word on how they want to be remembered. But sometimes to get the full story, you have to know how to crack the code. Sometimes it's subtle, like when you see a broken column, it means the person's life was cut short or that they still had work to do. Anchors at cemeteries don't always have to do with seafaring, it's often a symbol that the person held Christian beliefs and considered Jesus their spiritual anchor. At military cemeteries, stones are allowed symbols of belief, including our happy little humanist here. But some of them aren't so common, so you might need to look them up. Of course, not all iconography is so deeply encoded. Sometimes it's really just as simple as symbols of things that people liked or didn't like. And that brings us to our Seek Quest of the Week. You can check out some past life stories for yourself at pretty much any cemetery. If you visit one and figure out some life stories from iconography, send me the pics of what you find. If hanging out with the formerly living isn't your thing, send me some symbols that tell your story. I want to see your tattoos, your laptop stickers, school mascots, whatever symbols tell the world more about you. We love getting to know more about our ethical society community and we couldn't have great programs like Seek at Home without you. So thanks in advance for sharing with us. We couldn't do it without you.